Uh, I feel like the only thing that changed is uh, maybe just, you know, our mindset. We're more locked in. That's probably all. Um, yeah, you you most definitely have to see it, you know, to believe it. You know, you have to visualize you beating them guys, beating your rivals, you know, beating your next opponent for it to happen on the field. Um, I would guess you, you visualize you losing to them. Uh, you wouldn't come out on top. But, you know, maybe that's just his way of, um, you know, going by it. But, you know, I agree with it. You know, you want to visualize the wins before, you know, they actually happen. So I definitely agree with that. No, we don't pay attention to the hype at all. You know, we're Michigan, you know, we know what we can do and we know where our potential is. Um, all the preseason, you know, rankings and predictions, you know, are just for the fans and stuff like that. But for us, you know, we're just blocking all that out. Um, we're staying in house and um, keeping it all together. <laughs> I mean, I would guess so, but we're not focused on it. Um, yeah, because Urban, cause, um, Urban Meyer was a great coach. Um, he led that team well. You know, he led them to the college football playoffs and to um, championships. But, you know, the guy that they got coming in, Ryan Day, you know, um, I feel like he's a good coach. Um, and it's not going to change nothing. We do whatever coach they have. Our, same goal, our goal is going to be the same every year, to beat them. Um, no matter if they change their coach two more times before we play them, we're gonna have the same goal to come out on top. So, I mean, I can't speak for other teams. I can only speak for us, and I feel like that's the way we'll take it. Um, we felt that it was our time, even when he was there. So, I mean, you know, I feel like nothing will change. Our goal is still the same. Like I said, just come out on top and beat them. Um, a coach, you know, their coach is just their coach. You know, the players is on the field playing. Um, so. Um. Yeah, we see the uh, backlash, but you know, we just don't pay nothing, pay no attention to it. Um. We just stay focused on what we got to do, and you know, like I said, we just back out, um, back out all the um outside negative. Negativity. Um, we're just becoming uh more together. Our chemistry is getting even tighter, and you know the we we see the goal that's at the end of the um tunnel. Um, and we want to do everything we can each day to work towards that goal. Um guys, you know, the senior guys on the team, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, games haven't gone the way we wanted to go, but this year we want every game to go the way we want it to go. Um, we want to control every game, and we want to be on top of the end of the season. So um, this is our last go around, and, you know, this is our last chance to do it. So. Um, we just want to, you know, get it started. We just want to get everything started. You know, these past three years haven't went the way we wanted it to, and we want to be the team, you know, to get back, to get us back on track. You know, we want to get to Indianapolis, and we want to get to the um, national championship and come out on top. So we want to be able to, you know, get Michigan football back on track where it's supposed to be. Um, yeah. I'm just looking, you know, to help my team win in, in, in any way. You know, I'm not chasing those stats at all. I'm chasing wins. I'm chasing team wins. Um, you know, that's where guys mess up. They start chasing stats and, you know, getting frustrated if you don't, you know, get this certain amount of tackles or run this certain amount of rushing yards. Um, you know, for us, we're just about the team. Um, we're focused on the team. We're focused on our outcome. <laughs> uh Probably after practice, where like just grab the ball and start running and act like I'm a running back, but you know, not in the middle of practice. <laughs> yeah, it's just still natural. I still got it. <laughs> no, I'm just, 
I'm just, you know, going day by day, doing what I'm doing. Like I said, if they need me, you know, I'm here. But until then, I'm on defensive side and special teams doing what I do. Uh, I didn't know until someone uh, sent it to my phone. <laughs> I was just, I just laughed about it. <laughs> Um, Shea has been great for us. Uh, he has uh, came to the uh, be a leader. He's being a leader. Um, you know, he's inspiring young quarterbacks and the young guys on the team. And you know, he just he's just someone we we trust. And you know, he's someone we trust to to take us all the way. You know, he's our quarterback. You know, he's um, the captain of our ship, and we're behind him. You know, every step of the way. Yeah, um, they're just really, you know, um, uh, drilling it into our heads that, um, you know, this is the year uh, we've been getting disrespected and stuff, but uh, we can only control what we got coming ahead of us. Um, stuff happened in the past. We can't change it. We can only look forward and be able to, um, you know, do what we can do. Um, so there's no need to look at what happened in the past or who did this or who did that, you know, and then we're focused on is what we're going to do. Um, start at camp August 1st and what we're going to do uh, week one. No, uh, just adding more blitzes in. <laughs> yeah, so that's all I can, you know, give you for real.